guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm kenny make sure you subscribe to my channel i really appreciate that and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up in today's video i'll be sharing with you eight tips to facilitate your natural hair growth i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel please 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 make sure you are subscribed to my channel i'll really appreciate that now, this video is going to be part of my natural hair 101 series which i started a couple of months ago i already have like three videos in that series where i shared things you should know about your natural hair some product recommendation for every hair type and porosity and also i shared how to create your own natural hair routine i'll put the playlist for my natural hair 101 i'll put it right up here and also oh, i'll link it in the description box below you may want to check it out i already filmed a video like this a while ago i don't like how video is so i'm gonna delete that and i'll put this one up my first tip we are trying to facilitate your natural hair growth is patience every person's hair growth either natural curly kinky any type of hair every person's natural hair grows it's in as much as there is no medical condition that is preventing that hair from growing out of your scalp so the rate at which that hair will not grow out of our individual scalp will not depend on genetic makeup and our lifestyle the lifestyle means like if you are eating healthy diet if you are um, drinking lots of water if you are using multivitamins that facilitate your hair growth these are the things that will also facilitate your hair growth but in as much as you are doing this also you may feel like you're not seeing the results of all these things you are doing to your hair and that is just a lie if you see my hair now and you look at my hair couple of um like last year my hair was not like this last year it's grown so much and even wild at how much my hair has grown so if you take pictures of your hair and if you keep tabs on like if you do your like length check and all those things maybe every two months or every three months or every six months you would know that your hair grows there will always be a difference in how your hair was like three like three months ago than how it is now so if you see other people's hair on instagram or on youtube how fast their hair is growing depends on their genetic makeup it's not that there's something wrong with you or there's something wrong with your hair it's just that their genetic makeup is making their hair grow faster than yours it's not so the second tip i would be giving anyone that is just trying to go natural or anyone that is transitioning or that is natural is deep conditioning you don't know how much deep conditioning can change your hair game and I deep condition my hair every two weeks and that works for me. You just have to look for a routine that works for you. If you want to deep condition your hair once a week or you want to deep condition your hair once twice in a week. What deep conditioning does is that it makes your hair more manageable. That is the first thing. Apart from the fact that it nourishes hair, it acts um it makes our hair stronger, it does it does all those beautiful things the first thing i noticed when i deep condition my hair is how manageable my hair is when i deep condition my hair and i'm trying to detangle it i'm trying to put it in twists or braids or protective stuff anything i'm trying to do to my hair it just becomes easier after i've deep conditioned my hair especially if you have kinky hair like mine manipulating our hair can be so 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 difficult so i find that once i deep condition my hair it just cuts my um the time i spend on my hair it will definitely cut it in half it, so other things like i said that deep conditioning does is that it restores your hair elasticity it makes it nourishes your hair it moisturizes your hair and making your hair more pliable and more manageable i'll link my deep conditioning routine i'll link it up here and also i'll link my deep conditioning blog post in the description box below so if you want to check out all the benefits of deep conditioning and I will link it in the description box below you may check that out so my third tip is moisturizing your hair after deep conditioning or after washing my hair i always make sure i moisturize my hair if i do my hair if i do my styles that last me two weeks then i'll moisturize my hair once in two weeks but if i do styles that last me just one week then i'll moisturize my hair every one week like i said in my natural hair porosity and type video you want to know your hair porosity that is what will help you in knowing the kind of product that will work for your hair. I always get these questions of, oh, my hair is always dry. I don't know the right kind of products to use for it. Like I said in that video, when you do your hair porosity, like mine, I have low porosity hair. So when I'm looking for my, um, when I'm looking for moisturizers to moisturize my hair, I go for lightweight leave-in products. I know that once I work them into my hair, they will easily penetrate my hair strands and not sit on top of my hair. I have a couple of videos on how to moisturize natural hair, but if you want me to 
have like a specific video on how to moisturize the pores ca let me know in the comment section below and i will do that so like i said you want to know your air pores and this is important because that is what will guide you to know the right products to buy from the market so that you're not just gathering products or because oh Kenya Lapadi recommend it this um, this natural air um, blogger she recommends this product that it works for her and that doesn't mean that it will work for your hair okay, not that oh I'm using the LOC method or I'm using the LC method like I said some people are so stuck up on oh the, the LOC method is for high plus CA or the LC method is for low plus CA I don't buy that at all I've tried both and I found that, that it's not a matter of if, if, if it's LOC method you're using or the LC method you have to look for products that will work for your own air porosity when moisturizing your hair. so the first tip i'll give to anyone trying to facilitate their natural air growth or anyone on the LD natural air journey the fourth tip i'll give that person is to do low manipulation styles low manipulation styles like twist out braid out these are the two or flat twist styles these are the low manipulation styles that i know wash and go to me is not a low manipulation style low manipulation styles are styles that like now let me give you an, give you an instance now two sundays ago i washed my hair and i put them in twist and like last thursday which is like a week ago i took out those twists and i've been wearing my twist out since that thursday till now so the next time i'll be washing my hair or co-washing my hair or doing anything to my hair will be this sunday so I don't have to be going into my hair every week or every three days or every night. I don't have to do that. I don't have to be moisturizing my hair every night. You don't even have to moisturize your hair every night if you are moisturizing your hair properly. You don't have, you don't have to be moisturize your hair every two days if you are moisturizing your hair properly. That hair shouldn't be drying out every two days or every day if you are moisturizing it properly. The more you keep going into your hair to like detangle it again to co-wash it every day, you are losing length. If you detangle your hair, there is no way you won't, there, there is no way you have shedded air or some breakage. So if you like give your air for two weeks before you wash it, that means that you have like two weeks to even rest your arm and let your air rest before you do anything to it. So that is what I mean by doing low manipulation style. The fifth tip is protective styling. A lot of people swear by some people swear by protective styling and that is all they do to their hair i'm not a fan of protective styling though so if you like your wigs if you like your weaves if you like your braids your crochet braids that those are perfect protective styling just make sure that you do your protective styling the right way but one of the reasons i even went natural was because i did a protective styling that made my hair break so 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 much because i left that protective styling in for about two and a half months so when i was taking out that twist my hair was already matted together so when i do your protective styling just do it the right way don't let it stay too long in your hair because when you do that and you're trying to take it out your hair could be too matted together and when you are um, separating or detangling that hair you may have a lot of air breakage just do protective styling the right way deep condition your hair before you put it in protective styling moisturize it properly before you put it in a protective style and make sure you are not wearing it too long so that your hair is not very dry or matted because there is a difference between doing protective style and there's a, and being lazy with your hair so my sixth tip when you're trying to grow out your natural hair or you're trying to facilitate or you're trying to retain length is to use no heat at all or little or no heat if at all you must use it you should like seek professionals to help you do that i don't flat i've never flat ironed my hair since i've been natural i've never used any chemicals on my hair since i've been natural and i think that is the reason why my hair is let me say ld as it looks because yeah people tell me my hair is ld and i can see it that my hair is ld so let me brag a little bit because i don't use any even if i have to blow dry, even if i have to blow dry my hair i make sure i do it on cold heat or i use a very good heat protectant so you know, because what heat or ash chemicals like dyeing your hair or doing anything with ash chemicals to your hair what they do to natural air is that they dry your air out and once your air dries out it is so so susceptible it's so so susceptible to damage and breakage and all those things so my seventh tip when you are going out your natural air is um having a simple natural air routine i already have a video on this also it's part of the natural air 101 playlist which i've already linked up here and also in the description box you can just click this eye and it will bring you the the videos i've linked up here and you can see the natural air 101 playlist and you can check out the videos i put in there and in that video i like i'll be saying now 
is to make sure you you like you tailor that routine to your own lifestyle let me give you an instance now i'm a mom i have three kids and i have to do my hair and not only my hair i have to do a lot of things and there is this person maybe she's a single lady and she has a lot of time in her hands she could do she can do like wash her hair two times in a week she can wash her hair every week that routine will work for her if i try to imitate her and try to like copy a routine and use it for my hair my hair is going to be a mess i'm going to be frustrating my hair and my natural hair journey is going to be a long frustrating one because i don't have as much time as she has for herself i tell up my own natural routine i built it myself it took me a lot of trial and error and a lot of trying this product out to know the product that will make like my hair last like two weeks before i wash them and also styles that i know that will last me two weeks before i wash them it took me a lot of trial and error of products and styles to get to where i am now that i know that i've had like is that, that i have like a stable natural air routine that every two weeks my air wash day is locked down every two weeks my eighth tip which is the last tip but not the least tip is to enjoy your air i have I can say that this is the best time I can say this is like the, the, the happiest my hair has been. I've been on been on a like wig roller coaster, always wig. I've been on wig roller coaster. The reason you are growing out your hair is to be able to enjoy it, to be able to wear it out beautifully. At least for me, that is the reason I'm growing my hair out, to be able to wear it out beautifully. So that I don't need to wear weave or wig or do braid or anything to be able to like wear my hair out is the reason i'm growing it out the more you enjoy your hair the more you are like motivated to do more for your hair the more you are motivated to want to find the right products for your hair the more you are motivated to like find the right deep conditioner maybe diy or stop us for your hair the more you are motivated to like have a pain down routine for your hair so like i said the more you are motivated to find the right style the right styles that look good on you and that 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 you can easily do yourself the more you are motivated to have those things pinned down if you are enjoying your hair but if you don't enjoy your hair it may just be like a frustrating journey for you and you may end up like okay let me just relax my hair back or let me just continue putting it in a protective style all the time so the more i wear my own hair out the more i enjoy it so if you try as much as possible to love your hair too and you enjoy it taking care of it will be like the least of your problem because when people tell me oh taking care of my hair is a problem to me it's not a problem to me because this is only hair i have on my head and when i take care of it it takes care of me too it has me locked down any uh, any special event every day running around this year has me locked down i don't need to like bring out wig or bring out weave or put my hair in braids those are my eight tips to like facilitate your natural hair growth or to help you grow your natural hair if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel please 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 make sure you are subscribed to my channel i really appreciate that you can also press that bell beside the subscribe button so you are notified of my new uploads anytime i have a new video up here you will get a notification thank you guys and i'll catch you in my next video bye guys